All right. Call to order the Energy Committee meeting, May 20th, 2024. We're at Hanson Town Hall in the Historical Committee room with... This is Marianne Damasio, Chair. Jim Armstrong, Vice Chair. John Murray. Ed Heal. All right. So, for our agenda tonight, the first item is to approve minutes that were just handed out. So, let's just Motion take a minute. Motion to approve minutes. I have not read them yet. Printed. Give us a minute, please. Second. You're not supposed to read, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go into a closet. You can't hear to a higher standard. I'm reading. Strike that from the uh, minutes. Oh, strike that from the minutes. <laughs> Um, is this one? Five. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. And I, the only thing is that Jim Armstrong and Marianne DeMossi will meet with Bob Hayes. But the uh, Jim and I together met with Bob Hayes to do a tape, a show. Oh, yeah. I forgot about but, that. Yeah. Jim Armstrong and, Mar and Marianne. Oh, I didn't want to leave you out. You want to modify? I will modify if you wish. Well, you can just handwrite it in. We can. Well, I amend my motion because I said as printed, oh. as amended. As amended. So, second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Can we just unanimous. say who it is? Oh, unanimous. All right. You don't have to say who's who if, you're, if it's <laughs> unanimous. All of us. In. Any of uh, uh, All in favor? All opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, so unanimous vote to approve the minutes. Okay, so the next item on the agenda is discuss status of Hanson Community Power Program, including communications and next step in the program. So I would like to say a few things, and then whoever else wants to jump in, but I would say um, that the rollout happened. We had a little rocky at first because we didn't get all the information out in time. So there's a lot of discussion, but work to try to get good information out. We had two public meetings. One was on in person down at the police station. One was online. And then Jim and I did uh, both a cable show and a presentation at the senior center. And I would just say it was remarkable how um, we had really good attendance at the public meeting. We had 40 people and another almost 20 online. And that seemed to really shift where people were getting the information and then sharing it on social media. The social media part at, the, at first, it was a lack of some information. Yeah, after that meeting, social media kind of did yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So people I'd just like to say that it was, I think Good Energy did a really good job and um, people just ch chiming in and adding information as needed on social media. And I was very impressed with the senior citizens who were at the senior center with us. Very good questions. Yep. Um, some questions we, I was surprised at. Like, like ones that unrelated? No, for example, there is a, uh, there was a question that was asked about the uh, low income eligibility. Mm -hmm. Because what, what most people don't realize is most public utilities do have a low income program where they actually reduce the cost. Right. Something that's done as part of a whole process. Are you in that? It's not based on senior citizen, it's based upon financial needs. Ah, okay. I thought he was I No, that was one of the questions. I had people oh, okay. asking about it. And it's based on financial need. Luckily for you. Did you get that? <laughs> See? I'll have to put this in the minutes, you know that. Uh, it's being recorded, so anything you recorded. say. Um, and your name was, uh, what was it? <laughs> oh, yeah, is it right? Which, if anybody asks you the question, it doesn't affect what's going on. Not at all. Not at all, because it's only about the distribution charge, it's not about the generation charge. So the distribution charge is affected by the... That does have a low-income low clause, yes. Oh, yeah. good. I um, just know that because I used to run a utility, so I knew the law. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And well, any there's other a few people about asking that? about generator and solar and what right. that, and that, I mean, it's, it's if you understood, they, they just didn't understand the program, I guess, because right. obviously, if, if basically with a generator or solar, you're using less ele electricity, but what you do use, if any, will be right. all right. those plants. Mm -hmm. But if you're solar and you're giving money back, that's not going to change, I'm assuming. The negative. No, right? it's that solar. Change. Solar, it's interesting. There's actually, they do have a generation charge standard yeah. for when you're selling your renewables back into the grid. 
Mm -hmm. uh, that does not change at all. However, the amount of recs you have, and it's interesting, the more people who sign up to these programs mm -hmm. and go into them, you actually increase the value of the recs okay. so that the solar they put on the house has the potential of becoming more valuable because okay. of what we are doing here in the town. Because they need more of it. Right. Very good. Any other comments about the program and, and anything that... You mentioned there wasn't enough information in the beginning. Was that... Well, I think what happened is some information... It was just the state started approving a lot of towns and cities at the same time. Mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, I don't know how many were approved at the same time as us. So we were getting some information from Good Energy, um, trying to get things out. We were having a town meeting and all the prep that was going yep. on for our town yep. meeting. It was really hard, I think, for Fine. for this to fit into everything. that schedule. So it was just really bad timing. Um, the you know town administrator in their office was getting some of the information out, and then um, the town clerk's office put something on the website. Okay. But it was just you know a bad sequence of events because of the fact that we had town meeting and it was good energy. But, but was now busy. it seems like people, yeah, there's you know there's information. People understand it enough volume of people understand it so that people's neighbors they can talk to their neighbors and and get the right information out and so right on. did you get much of the negative feedback there was some but i think it really really made a difference at that public meeting mm -hmm. and because the people who were there had questions their questions were answered and then some of those people on social media were answering questions afterwards to say oh i went to the meeting and this is what i learned and so, so were, i think it was the one the police department yeah yeah, yeah. I wasn't, and, was there I, I wasn't one of the public ones. I when I wasn't on. You what? I wasn't on the public one. The one that was on. The virtual one. Yeah. Online, yeah. The only negative thing I've heard is a few different people have come up to me and said, I really don't like being forced into something. Yeah, but I understand I explained that. it to them, and they were okay with it, as I'm okay with it. I don't like being forced into anything. I know you didn't like anything. it at first, yeah. too. No, but the idea, you couldn't do it without the way right. it's set up. So, right. I mean, they understood it, and they're okay. And there's one gentleman, my neighbor, Mr. Hansen, um, I said I'm not. I'm not doing it. And I don't really understand why, but he's just. He's like I'm not. Everybody gonna, but, has. But he, uh, he has. And he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, and that's the and, thing. You can. Yeah, but but everybody yeah. that I've talked to, many people come to me afterwards, and everybody I talk to really likes the idea, except for that one part, and they understand the reasoning. Ironically, mm -hmm. I had three or four women who were at the senior center. Yeah. Who came up to me? Thank you for making it easy. I don't have to do anything. It happens for me. <laughs> that, that, yeah. that was like, yeah, there were some people yeah. like, oh, I don't have to do anything. <laughs> well, that makes it easier than uh, I thought. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Uh, was, I'm was, sure there's more of that than what I'm but saying. But it was, it was, it was very refreshing to hear it. Yeah. It was actually a woman who was even having problems walking around, and it was just. At the time, you know, you we never think of that side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a positive side, yeah. and I'm sure a lot of people. Feel that way, and I think there will be a, a contingency of people that come June when it comes into effect may look at their bill and say, "Oh shoot, that's changed," but for the better. Right, so it was be, lower prices. Yeah. And, think about what you just said. How many people actually look at their bill to notice the generation charge went down and nothing else changed? They look to see the price of the town. How much more? Right, right. but right. here we are going from a mild month. To a month, the air conditioning's on more. Oh. They're not going to notice that much of a difference. Yeah. It's going to happen probably in July or August when they start to see the the bill didn't get up as much as it did last year. Yeah. They'll be happy. Yeah. It's going to take a couple months for people to recognize it. Yeah. Right. And there were some people that actually went lower than the than the yeah people, yeah which, some is, people which is acceptable. That, yeah. that, that All of it is their choice. We right. the, the default is the plus ten percent or whatever. Yeah. Right. Um, so May 18th was the day that people Two days ago. Uh, either opted in or had to uh, either opt in or out. A Friday, I should so say. So then all the people who had, are still on it will get put into the program. If they decide they want to get out, they can, but it's just at the next billing cycle. You so, don't have any numbers or percentage? No, know. but I did get an email. That's what I wanted to update you on. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say that there's uh, – no, I'll wait on that one. I just have to find the email. Um because they are going, will have some statistics for us. There it is. Okay. Um, as this is on the 17th, as we approach the, this is from Good Energy and Rachel. 
As we approach the opt-out deadline, we want to provide you with updates regarding upcoming reporting as enrollment begins and the program launches. As you said, May 18th was the opt-out deadline. May 24th, Good Energy will send you a post-opt-out period snapshot. This will show opt-outs and requests for opt-in or product changes. It will reflect what the supplier plans to submit to the utility for enrollment. So that's pretty yeah, soon. We'll hear, that will go to Lisa probably and maybe, maybe me also. June 11th, first meter read for most of community. The enrollments begin taking effect. So it's not actually June 1st, I guess, but June 11th. June 19th, good energy to send you the launch report. This will be a more robust report with detailed information on accounts accepted for enrollment by product type. Um, and then they said they'll be monitoring the progress of the supplier to make sure they're submitting enrollments to the utility. And that is not submitting anyone that opted out. So I'm sure something like that will happen to a couple of people just because of the nature of, uh, you know, doing business. Yep. Some It won't be perfect. Um, and then doing appropriate follow-up with the utility as necessary. After the first meter read, Good Energy will conduct quality insurance, assurance to ensure that all accounts are properly accounted for. So we may have other things that we hear on social media from people mm -hmm. saying, I did, I opted out, but they put me in, or, you know, whatever ha happens. A question for you, we, mm -hmm. we need, we probably should ask uh, the town administrator, have they compared this rate to the rate you're contracted for now? To the rate what? The rate we have right now. Because right now the town, the town buildings. Yep. I doubt they, they have, yeah. You have the option to opt in. The town does. Yes. I'm just throwing it out there to yeah. you. It's, it's one of those things. Mm -hmm. it, it would be better coming from you than from us. Yep. Yep. I will mention that. She'll know where it's coming from, but I figured it'd be more fun to have you ask. Yeah. Because <laughs> then we started with buying gas first, and then we bought electricity later. Because I helped them break most of the contracts and that stuff. Mm -hmm. I edited all the contracts we had for the supply companies. Is there an opt-out fee? No. For the town? Well, it depends on the contract they have with the, who was it, uh, not Constellation, it was, uh, I'm looking at the guy's name, the salesman. Wrong. I forget. It may they have to wait till the contract's up. I got to find that out too, because I want to say it was a uh, fall contract. I got to double check. I, I don't remember. Okay. Um. I know we also bought power for uh, from the solar field in Dartmouth as a supplement on top of our normal power. I didn't even know you do that. We bought an extra 20% of the power for the town from a solar field in Dartmouth. Really? It was a municipal aggregation program, yes. I did that when I was on the selectman. And could I just ask, John, could you put those dates in the meeting, the May 24th, June 11th? The 18th was the opt-out date. You want the 24th? It was the uh, uh, sort of the a snapshot of initial... Uh, uh, I can read it. You can uh, post... Good Energy will send a post opt out period snapshot. And then. When you say, put, so that, that is going to include what? It will include opt outs, requests for opt in, or product changes. So the number of people that opted oh, so out. It's, it's the amount of that, people that have opted in. They're not, um, you know, whatever. Opted in, out, or changed yeah. products. So it will probably say this number of people are going with the. Basic, this number of people is standard, standard, this number of people with a 100%. Um, and then June 11th is the first meter read. June 11th? Yep. And then one more date. June 11th? Um, first me to read. First me read. And then June 19th. Is a launch report more detailed than the May 24th one. 
And then this is where I go fly fishing. Wow. That's Not beautiful. Bad. Five miles from any power lines. What? Five miles from any power lines. For a guy that's all about energy and... And the wind turbine, there's actually, there's 20, 47 wind turbines up on the ridge right before I get to my camp. Do you think that's pretty, or do you like that look? There's nothing around here. I mean, they, mean? there are... Right, we're going to keep on going Sorry. with the meeting. There's no houses. <laughs> well, you don't slept, didn't you? I don't know. <laughs> Mostly because it's recording, so, you know. <laughs> a higher standard. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, John, for recording that. That's right. I got that down. Okay. Any, anything else about the Hanson Community Power? I would just say a job well done. That was a what, two plus three, I don't know how many years in the making, but that, from town meeting approval in October 21, it's been two and a half years, and uh, bravo. So we got the 18th, the 24th, the 11th, and the 19th. The yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. That's All right. Wow. So um, just to go to the next item, which was solar. Um, let me get out my solar one. Where did it go? So we kind of dropped the discussion about solar when it was getting pretty busy for um, for community aggregation, but we had selected a couple of places. I talked to the where we could see about getting solar in town. Talked to Tony, the town planner, and he. Um, it was a few months ago, so yes. I just was looking for my notes, and I think what, do you have the notes there about what he said to do? I think it's, uh, we it have to look into it. Town Planner had been supplied with the commission's suggested sites. That was on Monday, January the 22nd. Uh, do we have another meeting in between there with notes? I don't have another set of notes. Between January what, We had a meeting, but we didn't have a full meeting, because only you and I showed up. Right. That, that was, that was one in between. but between January 22nd and April 18th, it's possible we didn't yeah, have Yeah, March 26th. Did we approve those minutes? I don't have those here. Yeah, March 26th. Because I, I only take them down to get them, to get them stamped once you approve them. And oh, maybe I just don't have a copy. Okay. Does it say there um, anything? That's what I'm looking for. Just looking for my notes about the solar. It, essentially, there were three sites. Yes, but the next steps, or I believe we he was saying that getting, we need to. We were talking about getting uh, some quotes, not we, quotes, but just uh, ballparks. Ballparks about what it. Would. Well, the other option we could do is you could put an RFP in yeah, the street. Here, there was the uh, November 9th. Mm -hmm. We had the number two acre site in the middle school. Number two is either 175 acre parcel, near the industrial park, or a 59 acre parcel, which abuts the industrial park. Yep. That was on November 9th. And those were, after taking the, two sites were recommended by the committee for further explanation. Okay, thank you. So I think Elisa said the same thing when I spoke with her. I'm seeing my notes for Lisa, but not my notes for when I talked to Tony. But she said that we are, well, our role would be to find companies that might be um, interested in solar, you know, yeah. pursuing the solar. But it's not like a proposal. It's just saying who might be interested at this point. Yeah, that was This is where I have to be yeah. quiet. Mm -hmm. Okay. December All right. 11th, you, you, the, that was you Jim Armstrong saying that. Reach out to the greatest solar companies. That was done. Oh, say that December, again. Yeah. December 11th. December 11th, Mary Ann will reach out to the various solar companies to give the committee estimates to install solar at the two town properties identified. All right. The last I did year. not do that because we then went into community aggregation. I'm so. busy. Yes. So, um, I'm not sure I know how to do and that. And on we Monday, had... January 22nd, New business, the town planner was supplied with the go. commission suggested sites for possible solar. Thank field. you for taking such good notes. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'm just overwhelmed <laughs> by all this praise. <laughs> <laughs> I get a gold star. <laughs> okay, so um, 
We had one that came here to visit once. I'm just yeah. not sure how you do it. Like, you just go look at solar companies and then... Like Tony just said, talk to people, find out. Like she said, um, Lisa said, get proposals from solar companies. What would it save us? And you know, proposals for different. Do we things. have a list of companies to reach out to? That's the thing. I mean, it's, you could it I could look online and see who's like. I could. I guess you know what I could do is I could call or any of us could do this. Not just me. Call around to other towns that have done it to see what companies have used. Um, they're not always, they're, they are not always done by the town. Just oh. because they have a solar field doesn't mean the town was involved. Mary is the one who came to see it. Yeah, Mary, yeah. She never has she has never done a municipal one. Oh, okay. Who did the Pembroke one? Would know. you like to find out, John? Uh, I could probably do that. That would be great. Let's put your name down. You know, when I was I'm, in the army, they told me never to vote. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did I volunteer you. That's what Navy stands for. Well, huh? never again volunteer yourself. Uh, <laughs> I've been in all of them, just about, except for the Navy. I haven't been in the Navy. I've been in the Air Force, the Army, the National Guard, the Army oh. Reserve. You name it, I've been there, except for the Navy. And you know the funny thing was, the if, you look at, if you look in my uh, high school yearbook, under my picture it says I was going to go in the Navy. Oh. Really? The only one I didn't go in. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> really? This oh. is a lot of time. I, I get seasick. Oh. I can't swim. <laughs> of course, in the Navy, you're not supposed to swim. That's all when a ship sinks. Uh, <laughs> all right, so let the notes reflect that John will at, find out who put the solar okay. in Pembroke. Okay. I will call the woman who was at one of our meetings eons ago when Matt was still the chair. Um, and do you know anyone around here with solar fields? Um, I will... It's a other town that has... Yeah, I will ask around. Carver's got quite a few of them. Carver? Who does? Yeah, Carver. Do you want me right. to call Carver? That would town, be lovely. Town hall, find out. All right. Yeah. Remind me. They've got a pretty good size one, though. Can, can you put it in your little thing? You remind oh, me you were putting my. something else in there. Do you want me to give you some names? I'll give you names of a bunch of companies, but I can't recommend anyone because the company... Oh, we don't? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, all right, sure. If you look on the Route 25, 20, was it uh, 44, this highway. Oh, my oh yeah. 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 Nebraska is one of the best at doing the highway uh, solar fields. You can't say best. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm telling you. Nebraska. Nebraska. The other one is uh, Constellation Energy. Any ESCO, energy service company, that's registered with the state under the DCAM laws oh. can do this. All right. So they're ESCOs. So if you had to contact DCAM. The Department of Capital Asset Management for a list of ESCOs who are qualified to do solar, they would give you a list that's been qualified by the state. Perfect. That way, I'm not saying anyone other than what I said about Noresco. Mm hmm. That's perfect. That's not the one I work for. You're walking a fine line, did you know that? I know that. <laughs> <laughs> But no, but I'm that's helpful. To... That's like just very well, we neutral. Need a register yeah. of qualified solar for the state. That's like that's not any like Where would favoritism we find or anything. This information if you were in DCAM, the Department of Capital Asset Management. I love those acronyms. I can't even remember them. <laughs> What's the E for? <laughs> Department of Capital Asset Management. DCAM. Oh, D. It's not an E CAM. It's D dash CAM. D CAM. Yeah. I thought it was D E. D C A. Capital Asset. Management. Okay. Uh, I will make that my task to look at that. If you guys, you look at Pembroke. You can actually find it online, And you look up Carver. Yeah. Okay. That's really helpful. I think that's enough for the moment. Um, and maybe I'll just make some And you calls might want to, to ask the town administrator who we buy power from in Dartmouth, because that's what was a minute. That was a joint effort by a whole bunch of municipalities to put a solar field in, in Dartmouth. Okay. Would you rather do that instead of asking Carver, ask Lisa? I can do. I can ask that. I can do both. Okay. Unless somebody else wants to do that. Actually, I wouldn't mind talking. Well, you want to do? Carver? I'll talk to Lisa. You want to talk to Lisa? Yeah. Okay. Actually. About Dartmouth. I just asked her about the. When you just asked me to. Oh. I sent her an email. About what? Something else. About the 
question the, the, the community does. aggregation yeah. for the town. We, oh, right, okay. Should, can the town use that if, if it makes sense? Figure okay. I think that's enough for now, just to figure out, like, start exploring who these companies are and trying to get information. Yeah, I don't know what we'll find. So look, I'll, I'll make sure I look at that list and find out about Dartmouth Solar. And I'll wait to call Mary, the woman that came here, because we'll have, it sounds like we'll have other information. Okay. Anything else about solar? Okay. So the next thing was updates on green communities. green communities, which is the same thing actually as the new business on the agenda. Yeah, we're gonna reach out to Prism to find out where they are. I didn't get a chance to call. You did not. Day. Okay. So that's all. If we don't have an update, I thought we might have one. So we nothing on the t the t town hall meeting. I didn't get a chance to contact them. Three two merits. Fire me. <laughs> Speaking of that, is anybody's term up this year? We're up every year, I thought. Are we up every I year? I think so. Okay. And everybody going to continue? I will continue, but I would love not to be chair. So we can look at that when we reorganize. I want to move to New Hampshire. My wife won't let me. Yeah, yeah I know. That, is that within the next year? We own the Oh. House. Yeah, I know that. But. So um, let's just finish up that. So the, the, the old business and the new business, the last thing is really the same thing, just said differently. So there's no update on the Green Communities okay. Grant or the Town Hall Heating and cool Cooling. Could you do that for our next meeting? Yes, I will do Okay. That. And so if... Um, I have some homework now. Yes. So Jim. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we could probably have the agenda very similar. Similar. My Boston accent. Similar. Um, my daughter always says something when I say words with a Boston accent because I... Well, she's in New York now. She, yeah, I'm like, hey, you know, it happens. I live here. By the way, um, John told me to say hi to you again. I was with him last week. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm just putting your name. Update for next time, Jim. Update. And... So that um, because the town hall thing would come under the same one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you could just put the same three agenda and items President next Sullivan time. The vendor who we chose to do that, and that's, we just got to find an update from them. I'll send her off an email and uh, have them send me an email. If I'm, nothing else, I get a report. I'll just put it down. There's no updates right now. Right. And per Ed's question about continuing on, someone at the senior center, both times that we had the public oh, yeah. meeting, I advertised, and we need another member on our committee. Oh. And at the senior center, I was speaking with a woman afterwards who was interested. Oh, possibly, really? Possibly, possibly interested. It's amazing. Did you get her name? <laughs> I think I did. I'm like, where did I where did I put my notes and what did I do? Um, I could find it's out. Yes. Yeah, so I gave her my information. Oh, oh she. Yeah. Finally, when we get to the senior center, I behaved myself and didn't talk as much. You behaved And Marianne did most of the talking. <laughs> I did and the it presentation. Went well. It went well. And Jim gave a lot because of good information. Because you didn't have the good energy folks there, or were they there? Well, no, we just decided we would do another presentation. Good. Yeah. Who did the one with police on the computer at the police? That was good energy. Good energy. That was good energy. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Okay. Now yeah, Patrick was with us that day too. Right. I did talk to the church. I now know. I now know. I walked to the, into the church up on High Street. Oh, was that where you thought it was? No. Oh. No, no. I said I'd go to the church to, to see if they could put something up on there. Oh, I see. But, minister wasn't there but oh okay that's right nice. and the okay. maintenance guy was very nice so they know <laughs> i don't know <laughs> they knew about it but they weren't you know they said they'd put it up and no problem i don't okay. expect any feedback from that one all right does anyone have anything else before we adjourn yes do we need an oh and inside the town dump stickers have gone up two dollars a piece good to know uh, good on, to know. Uh, instead of $100 for your car to go to the dump, it's going to be on July 1st, it's 102 And if you want a second car in your family, it's 52 rather than 50 and I bet the select board approved that. I haven't that. heard that, but that just seems well, I kind of ridiculous. I don't that. understand why you need a separate sticker for a car in your family. So I have two cars. So I have to pay $150 if I own one car and being you. That doesn't and make I want sense, to go to but the it's dump. a moneymaker. Right. It is. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I got me and my two daughters, so either they drive my car or I pay a pig, buy them a sticker so that they can pick their own car. Mm -hmm. 
And, it, and it's the same. It's the same. Are point. we still recording? Yeah, yeah, we haven't adjourned yet. It doesn't make sense to me. So I'll entertain the motion to adjourn. adjourn. Oh, okay. What about Enter next meeting? Oh, next meeting. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Um, well, we didn't have a second, so keep going. Well, let's see. <laughs> um, Is, does oh, Monday work for people? Yes. Which? Monday? Monday? Mondays. Yeah. Monday's never, the best for I'll be honest, I never know. Uh, yeah. Yours, you yours is all over the place. So. Um, I did. Do we need a Zoom I, meeting? Um, that's a good question. It would be nice to meet briefly to talk about solar. I think the Hanson Community Power. Well, there's some returns from these different dates. Oh, that would be really good also to see uh, meet after some of those reports come out, like the June 19th so report. So the 24th too late then? That's after those dates, right? I think I'm camping. Well, I'm out of the state for the whole week of the 24th and the first week of July. There's probably a fly fishing in that place. When are you out? Right. I go on vacation the... Uh, Friday the 21st, and I don't come back until after the 4th. How about the How 17th, about then? And, well, then the yeah, we June don't 19th, get, you're going to get more... Oh, no, it's town so, meeting. Second town meeting. Let's just do the 17th. How about July 8th? I'm back for that. Does that work? I mean, we don't have anything super urgent, so it's more just a little more research. Okay. It's the same time. Does this work, or do you want do you want to be earlier? I had a I had a, another meeting tonight, which is right. Do you always? Well, I'm not Monday, getting right? off that committee, so I won't have it anymore. You get not off. That's been oh, seven well. years. No, I've just been on it well, for you seven years. Change the, change the the time of that. Just well, should we just email. decide now and say is six I'm better? I'm fine or? with any time. Six, okay. All right, let's do six. Six. Does that work, John? Uh, no, you. What do you prefer? I don't. I don't have a I preference. Have for a seven. Okay. Only because I got. If nobody has a preference and you do, so let's keep it at seven on July eighth. She's giving me something here. <laughs> and I would. <laughs> I would also. <laughs> I would say one other thing that I forgot on uh, May twenty third at one p.m. Would anyone be interested in listening to a Department of Public Utilities aggregation meeting, which is going to talk about potential changes to the way the regulations are written for our aggregation programs? At what time? That's One o'clock on Thursday. What? So it's, it's, a, it's a rulemaking that's been in process because some of the rules that they have on the state level as a result of the law are not... But how would these rules affect... It will file. it will affect our program. What was the date? Um, this Thursday, Thursday, the 23rd at 1 p.m. Where? It's on Zoom. Oh, it's on Zoom. What is Zoom? I can share it. Will it, it be is. interesting or worth what time one of us going? 1 p.m.? Um, I don't think we need to have a lot of people there, but... Um, Jim, are you available? Do you know what you... No, I, I have meetings all day. Okay. I can probably go, but if somebody, if you think you could I, sit I, in, I, is it too tough? I can't guarantee it. Okay. My, my work schedule is, is all over the place, so I'm probably very okay. similar to Jim, but I could. All right. John's not to doing it. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I will attend I'll, that meeting I'll, and report I'll back. It, it may affect us in some ways because yeah. they're trying to make, we, we, I went to a meeting a while ago where they were working on it, them, yeah. and we had suggest a couple of suggestions about what to do when we get the approval to say that. So it will they'll be tweaking it, I think, in ways that are good, where you don't have to, you know, something about communication and not kicking people out. It, you know, there are a bunch of different things that we've talked about at other meetings. So they'll uh, I'll attend and it report back. Take the dust to settle on something like this too. Well, it's been going on for yeah, at least a year so they've been doing this. so It's in constant flux, so if it's not... Well, it hasn't been in constant flux, in, but... Of course, then it's probably never going to happen. <laughs> and they'll just keep doing by Friday from wool. Uh, I've got a project meeting on Concord Hospital. Okay, then I will attend and report back. Okay, and like, no, let us know what you... Yes, mean. and John, could you make a note to yourself? to? I'll be on vacation the week before July 8th. Could you make a note to yourself to submit... 
um, an agenda. I mean, you could do it at any time. This is extracurricular. I don't know if I can handle that. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't be saying, John, please submit an agenda. I just, In fact, most of the time I sit there and I, I say, say to my wife, say, hey, Mary Ann hasn't come around with an agenda yet, so what's going on? <laughs> We're going to do the same agenda. <laughs> okay. I'll, yeah, I'll do it. Thank you. All right. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Jim, you did it before. So moved. Second. Second. Ed, Sorry. all in favor? Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Unanimous meeting is adjourned. <laughs>